What's up, folks? It's Derex, a.k.a. The Frisco Roamer. This video is a two-part series. Is San Francisco really that dangerous? I'm going to give you an honest take. Now, I've been abroad for almost 10 years and only been looking at social media for a little over a year now. It wasn't long for me to find out that the internet consists of cheesy trends, fake news, highly exaggerated content, specific narratives, and sensationalism. All things that I'm not into, which is probably why you'll never see this. Before returning to the USA, I was actually scared to come home because of all this BS. But then after being here for almost a year, I realized it's still pretty much the same. I feel way more safer now than before, actually. With that said, I'm not here to change the minds of my American brothers and sisters. They already made up their minds, and no amount of videos or statistical data will change anyone's mind. But for tourists, here's an honest take of the city I was born and raised in. To be clear, I'm not a fan of San Francisco. I left for a reason, and I'm only going to be here for a short time before adventuring out again. But I am a truth seeker, and I don't agree with the negative narrative of my city. This is San Francisco. You see that small underline in red? That's the Tenderloin. LA has Skid Row. Even Salt Lake City has a very generic TL. Most major cities worldwide have their own versions of the Tenderloin. And like most major cities, there are good areas and some dangerous areas. All the videos and talk you see in here show the TL and surrounding area like downtown and south of Market. Still very small in comparison to the rest of the city. Is the TL the most dangerous area in the city? I would say no. It is, however, the most interesting area to me, but it can be dangerous for sure. Why would anyone go to the TL? Well, it's a great place to buy drugs. It was also a great place to get prostitutes, but they're not really on the street anymore, at least not like before. It's also a great place to see drugged zombies, and yes, you can see homeless people in encampments and people shitting and pissing on the streets. I've seen it all many times. None of that is new. It's been like that as far back as I can remember. Finally, unless you have a friend there or need to walk through it to get somewhere, there are some places you can eat out there. Overall, there's really no reason to go to the TL unless you want to spread a certain narrative or impress don't knows that you went to San Francisco's most dangerous hood. The areas in yellow are areas I would not recommend. Not because I think you'll die if you go there, but there's no reason for you to be in Hunter's Point, Bayview, or Visitation Valley. If you want to go to the projects, go ahead. That's on you. But I'll walk in the TL any day over walking in Sunnydale Projects in Visitation Valley or Harbor Road or West Point in Hunters Point. Now, with the exception of the L's, I haven't been to these areas in over 10 years as I have no business being there and all my homies from there have moved on. I have no idea how rough they still are. I know they cleaned up 3rd Street when they added the new public transit line there. But for all you YouTubers who want to go to dangerous places, go to Sunnydale Projects. Go to Harbor Road, go to West Point, and hang out there filming. Who knows? Might be a good experience, and you'll get my respect for sure. Walking through the Tenderloin isn't a big deal. Everyone's done it. There are some other areas that are dangerous, too, but the city cleaned them up, like the Mission and Filmo, and that happened before I even left. I have no fear of going to those areas anymore, and Mission has some of the best Mexican food in the city. Remember, SF is 7x7 seven seven square miles, so still a lot of very nice and safe places to explore. I'm not going to go over all the areas, but if you have questions, post them in the comments, and I'll answer them as best I can. Now let's do a walkthrough of some of the nicer and safer areas of the city, and you can make your own judgments. Is Tenderloin the whole city, or is it just a small, small portion of the city? Uh, and here is the incredible four star. Everyone, everyone always wonders why uh, I know so much about old school kung fu movies. Well, this is the spot. And look, they got a bunch of kung fu movies this month. Uh, so this place was owned by an Asian dude back in the day. And uh, it's iconic. It's a Frisco landmark. And uh, he doesn't run the business anymore, but I used to watch a lot of old school kung fu movies out here back in the day. Bam. Glad it's still open, even if it's under new management. It's a great place. 
Here's my old elementary school. Alamo Elementary School. Back in the day. But again, still lovely walking these streets. So I will say this, it has gotten dirtier in San Francisco. The abs is dirtier than it used to be. Still not, it's not bad, but it's a tiny bit more grimy. But this, in this, definitely an issue. High level of car break-ins in Frisco, very high. So homelessness has always been an issue in San Francisco, but I will say this, there's a lot more homeless people in the Richmond district than there used to be. When I was growing up, you'd have like the four token homeless guys. Now there's probably like, I've probably seen about a dozen, which isn't that much, but you go downtown, there's hell of them. But there's always been hella homeless people out here. Now, for those that don't know, I'm gonna lace you with a little game about bipping. If you don't know what bipping is, remember the uh, broken glass that I showed you on the uh, street floor? <clears throat> That's breaking into cars and jacking. And uh, if you're from out of town and you come to San Francisco, you better put all of your things away, hide all your things, take all your things out of the car because these cats that be bipping, they check out cars, especially in tourist areas, but it can happen anywhere. And if you got something in your car, or they think you have something, they, uh, you have something in the car, they're gonna break your window and they're gonna jack you. And then you're gonna come back and be real upset. So for those tourists that come to my city, watch out for bipping. Make sure you put all of your stuff in the hotel or carry it on you because you will get jacked 100%. So you got a little homeless encampments over in the uh, <coughs> divide for the street. So they'd be posted up there. They got their tent set up. They got a few of them. They got one right here too. You see that? But I don't see them bothering anybody, so. Another thing, you know, you're, you're you're in a crowded place. You know, there's a lot of people.
the temple, okay? There is my. Hay Street is the beginning. And there's Amoeba Music. That's where I used to get my music back in the day. And DVDs. Now we on Hayden Ashbury, have a famous street. Good old pipe dreams. This was a spot back in the day. But one thing is true about San Francisco. It is a city of hills. They were at Buena Vista Park. And gay dudes used to have hella sex out here in this park, in the bushes. But I bet it's not like that anymore. Town. Pretty good view up here, but nothing crazy going on. So here we are, two four, Mission, Mission District, waiting for my food. And people want to talk about Frisco is more dangerous than it used to be. Mission was grimy as hell back in the day. I love Norteños. Northsiders out here, I don't see any posted up anymore. I'm not saying that they don't exist, but I don't know what people are talking about is dangerous out here because I wouldn't come out here back in the day because I know from personal experience, you can get fucking toe up out here. But um, I used to come out here all the time because my boy lived on 24th and Bryant and we were both dancers, so we practiced at his garage. So. The mission uh, holds a very special meaning for me, but it ain't it ain't what it used to be. So I don't know why everyone's talking about this hella dangerous in Frisco. If smartphones existed back then, there's no way I would have walked around with my phone right now, posted up and chilling. But yet, here I am. Loteria. taking a side street going up to 25th and Folsom again this used to be a grimy ass area no one's posted on the block I don't see anything
and I'm about to go to Dolores Park. Dolores Park was the dope spot. That was a drug infested area, but we're about to go there right now and let's see what it looks like. Hella nice. People relaxing, enjoying themselves. I wouldn't come out here back in the day. I got stories about this place. <clears throat> so where's all the crime? tags I don't see any gang tags or anything no x3 no nothing just taggers I wouldn't even walk on this bridge back in the day yeah here I am chilling well, well let's explore this side of the park maybe uh, maybe we'll see some people selling dope or a fight or something Nope, just kids playing frisbee. So yeah, I, I don't get what everyone's talking about. Frisco is hella dangerous. I, I don't get it. Okay, sure, yeah, pe people are bipping all the time. But like, that's not harming me. People are what breaking in or stealing stuff at Walgreens and pharmacies because you can get away with 950 bucks worth of goods. How does that affect me? Ain't no one coming up to me and strong arming me or robbing me. So again, I ask, how is Frisco dangerous? <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. I can go, I can go to Sunnydale. I can go to Harbor Road. I think they're tearing down the Sunnydale projects anyway. I don't even know if anything's there anymore. You know, I can go off Third Street and I can get into some shit, but what's the point of me going out there? I don't belong there. There's nothing there, you know, except for projects. I'm gonna go out there and just be like, yo, what's up? What's going on? Dope spot turned into a very nice park with people walking their dogs, relaxing, playing, being with their loved ones. <laughs> the internet is a doozy and y'all eat that stuff up I mean that's that's how Frisco is see that woman right there taking selfies chilling on that that swing that's Frisco right there I like this one This church getting in the middle of the time. Really. Look at the red one. Pretty quiet. You can say what you want about the city, but to say it's dirty and dangerous. Not really. Another beautiful day in the city. I had 
a beautiful park. really didn't want to come out here as you know San Francisco is super dangerous and this might be one of the grimiest areas in the city this area is known as Pacific Heights so our goal today is we're gonna look for dope fiends we're gonna look for homeless people we're gonna look for trash and we're gonna look for criminals Kids are thugs in training. So you gotta watch out out here. Watch out, car coming, might be a drive by. Ooh, super lucky. Telling you, I really didn't want to come out here today, but doing it all for you two. Ooh, yeah, see, look at how bad this is. This is horrible right here. That's really bad, really dangerous. On the real though, Pacific Heights is right next to the Presidio. Ooh, look at this, this haunted house. How dangerous. How about zombies come out of here? Locust Street, you know what that means. It's the end of times. pebbles on the sidewalk what? some pebbles on the sidewalk that's super dirty oh well look there's there's pedals on the street that's super dirty wow look at these grimy third world houses Whew, we're out of Pacific Heights, man. That was super dangerous. I'm surprised I survived. Uh, but look at this. I was telling you earlier, it's parallel to the Presidio. Established in 1776, the Presidio. Here's the golf course. But everyone here, they're all, they're all drug dealers cartel members you know it's all it's all thug thug stuff 
it's a good chance I might get mopped out here by some of these golfers. Because I'm definitely not supposed to be here. Now look at that drive. So I just found this right now. If you're walking in the Presidio and there's 10 places you can go and that's just the mainstream ones. There's hella places in the Presidio you can explore. This is the lizard cut. It's a trail in the Presidio. I call it the lizard cut because there's hella lizards here and you can find them. I like to come out here and count them. Oh, look at that bird. Why is it Lobos Creek Trail? Yep. Okay, so the real name is Lobos Creek Trail. I call it the lizard cut. There's so much to explore in the city, but if you just limit yourself to shopping downtown, going to Pier 39, and going down Lombard Street, you're really limiting yourself. But again, you know, you do you. I'm just showing alternatives and painting a more realistic picture of San Francisco. And that's why it's called the Lizard Cut. But the Presidio is a very beautiful area. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, head out to the Tenderloin tomorrow. There's no reason for me to be out there, but I'm gonna go eat out there just to show you that you know, people go through there all the time. While there's hella dope fiends and drug dealers and all that out there, there's also honest, hardworking people who live there. And the Tenderloin is an interesting place because it's in downtown, so people who don't live there walk through it all the time. So it's not a big deal to walk through there. So I'm gonna go out there tomorrow. I'm gonna kick it out there. I'm just kind of off-road now in the Presidio. Ooh, we got coyotes. So yeah, that makes the city super scary. Makes it really dangerous. If you go further up this way, you'll head towards the bridge. These are apartments now. Used to be a hospital, then it closed down. We used to break in here all the time when we were young. It was fun. San Francisco is such an interesting place. United States Marine Hospital Cemetery. This area here used to just be sand dunes, just like what you see here. All the Richmond district was just sand dunes. It's an interesting place to grow up. So much diversity, so much history. But you want to believe that the city is dangerous and dirty. Believe what you want. More lizards. So here we are in Mountain Lake Park. This is probably one of the most dangerous parks in the city. Actually, it is the most dangerous park in the city and I'm gonna tell you why. So like 20 years ago, more or less, I'm not really sure, someone decided to, uh that they had a pet alligator right and they decided to uh dump the alligator in mountain lake park in the lake we're about to see it right now so in this lake right here they dumped an alligator and uh <laughs> that alligator killed hella ducks, killed hella wildlife here. And uh, no one could catch them. 
and he was around for a while. He was on the news and the newspaper, and eventually they had to hire an alligator hunter from Australia to come and get him out, and they finally did. But I was trying to show you that San Francisco isn't the tenderloin, but I'm kind of failing because I mean, this is super dangerous. I mean, think about how many ducks and wildlife lost their lives to that alligator. Yeah, it's no joke. No joke out here. Here we are in Japan town. Here's another cool area, Japantown. Used to buy a lot of anime, DVDs, and video cassettes. You know, you can also use this video as a, as a guide. at Bodecker Park, right in the heart of the Tenderloin. And, uh, dude, there was hella, and it's right across the street from the uh, police department, hella drug dealers used to hang out here. And it looks pretty nice now, they hella cleaned it up. No, San Francisco is a third world country. It's complete without filming Richmond Playground. <laughs> it's just a bunch of stumps and rocks. <laughs> that is pretty third world. In part two, I will interview someone I've known my whole life and who has lived in the Tenderloin. And not only that, but he's worked extensively with homeless people, drug addicts, and more in the city. I chose to interview him because I trust him and I believe the data he will present will be accurate and real. He isn't on some BS narrative. He's also a Frisco native like myself, so I consider us a wealth of knowledge for the city. Who knows? Maybe he will tell me that SF is in fact a dangerous city according to statistics. And let's not forget the Bay Area. You can go north across the Golden Gate Bridge for amazing hikes in the Marin Headlands, Muir Woods, Mount Tam. There's many beaches to explore in towns like Marin City, Sausalito, Tiburon to name a few. Lots of beauty and safety in and around San Francisco. All right, folks, come here or don't, believe what you want. At the end of the day, it's not gonna affect my life. This is just an honest take from a Frisco native. Peace and keep being curious.